Good morning. This is meteorologist Thomas Pepe with the National Weather Service here in San Angelo, Texas, with your morning weather briefing. We kick off this briefing with a severe outlook for Friday. Currently, the Storm Prediction Center has most of our area under a marginal risk for Friday, where a few storms could become strong and briefly approach severe levels. But mainly, we're looking at hail and gusty winds to be the main concerns. Over the weekend, for Saturday into Sunday, we're looking at the potential for strong gusty winds, with gusts ranging up to 40 to 50 miles per hour on Saturday and Sunday. Highest winds are expected across the I-10 corridor from Ozona to Junction, with the odds decreasing to the north. In this graphic, we're looking at the probability of wind gusts above 40 miles per hour for this weekend. And as you can see, areas like San Angelo have about 66% probability. And down south along the I-10 corridor, we're roughly around a 70 to 80% chance. In some of these areas that may experience these higher winds, we suggest bringing in objects that may be blown around in high winds, such as trash cans and lawn furniture. We also recommend that drivers of high-profile vehicles and boaters in the area should use extra caution under these windy conditions. As for today, we're looking at a warm start to February with another day above normal temperatures. We're looking at highs generally in the 70s today with winds remaining breezy from the south with gusts about 20 to 30 miles per hour possible today. And here's a look at our five day extended forecast. We're looking at showers and thunderstorms from Friday afternoon into this early Saturday morning with the potential of some of these strongs becoming strong to severe Friday afternoon through Friday night. Windy conditions pick up Saturday into Sunday and then begin to diminish during the beginning of the work week where we see cooler conditions starting to take shape behind a cold front that moves through Monday into Tuesday. Thank you for listening to our morning weather briefing, and we hope you have a great day.